Do you ever have one of those days when you just feel off? You can't get the flow going, sets of familiar movements don't connect as smoothly as they normally would. That lack of flow can be caused or be compounded by aching muscles and joints, some chemical disbalance perhaps, some anxiety or circumstance. Maybe you're in the middle of an argument with your loved one, it's throwing off your energy and equilibrium. Well, that happens. It happens for many reasons. It happens in a flash or it can linger. But it happens and I think it happens to everyone. You ever feel like you plateaued? Like you've reached the peak of the parabola and now you're sensing a reduced pace of learning, discovery, and progress? You ever have one of those days where you just can't get it together? I'll tell you this with no reservation, it happens to me frequently. I'll go for extended periods of time when I don't pick up a stick or a blade. I just get exhausted by it all and the rewards just don't seem to be there. Sometimes communities help and sometimes they seem to compound the distaste for FMA, especially when drama and politics rears its ugly head. You ever just get tired and want to quit? It happens to me all the time. Now this video isn't going to attempt to solve these problems. There is no solution. For me, I just quit. I've quit FMA so many times and I think it's okay to do that. It's okay to take time off and focus on other things. Now I know this may be more difficult if you've committed X amount of time to some FMA contract that binds you to monthly payments or something like that. It's gotta be even tougher if you're the group leader or instructor. There's so much pressure on you and I feel that. I know you wanna quit and take some time off but maybe you can't because folks are relying on you. Now, I haven't got the answers for that. Maybe empower your students and cultivate a group that can operate without you. That might help the next time you feel like you need some space from this thing. Sooner or later though, you'll pick up those sticks again. Your hands will start moving like this and they'll turn into knives again. You'll find yourself missing it. And just as it's important to quit FMA, it's even more important to come back to it again. And look, you're gonna be rusty. You're not gonna be the same, but it's just like riding a bike. You'll remember, it'll come back. Just don't be so hard on yourself, man. You know, shed those unrealistic expectations and just enjoy being with FMA. Get back to your roots, get back to playing. Rediscover what it was about this art that makes us feel young, that makes us feel like warriors. The things that connect us to this flow, Sometimes it's beyond our control and you just have to wait until the next wave arrives. Until then, don't let FMA burden you. Don't let it stress you out. Don't let these sails become anchors when the weather calls us to calmer shores or different ports. Or heck, sometimes we just need to jump overboard and abandon ship. As I begin to mature in this art, I often feel like there's a target on my back. Like everyone wants a shot at proving themselves against me or something like that. I have to remember that it's cool, man. We can go. I ain't flying no one's banner. There's no pressure on me. And I, I think that might have something to do with my evolution and growth within this art. I'm free. I am absolutely free. And it's that freedom that allows me to come and go as I please. It's what relieves the pressure. It's what dissolves expectation and allows me to just continue to explore and test myself whenever I want to or not. So yo, if you're feeling a little off, quit FMA, just stop. If it's causing you more harm than good, take a break, go find something else to do. Reset, recover, refresh. You see, FMA is changing these days. The community is global and there are plenty of families, plenty of tribes, plenty of schools, plenty of communities to come home to. It'll be here when you're ready. Until next time, my name is Paula Rubio. I hope this video was meaningful or helpful or inspiring to you. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button to make sure that the YouTube algorithm understands that we're out here trying to build that Filipino martial arts community and hopefully they'll dish out this content to other Filipino martial artists who might have needed to hear you know, 
this, uh, this video. Thank you guys very much again. My name is Paulo Rubio, aka GN. Peace out until next time. Thank you.